everybody to welcome Frank Martin Gilligan to In the Music Room. Yeah! And I'd like you to meet my friend Joe Gavito. As Joe has pointed out, we've been playing together since the Carter administration. Wow. Yeah. We both had black hair. Now it's back home in a, in the closet. Shall we do this, Joe? Things don't always go right the way they should But complaining about them doesn't do me any good I'm much better off because I have you When the world becomes too much you know just what to do You just set me down Open up your case And you let Music take me to another place In a little while I'm as good as new With another day I know that I can make it through Sing me With a voice so sweet and clear And I will listen Till my troubles disappear You can always Soothe my worried mind with just a song Then I sing along I think about how good my life can be Sing to me Oh, 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 oh. Second thought Would we have something Money could have never bought I have always known You were heaven sent Cause my life is so much better Than I've ever dreamt It's just you and me and that old guitar That's all we've ever needed To get by so far after all this time We have passed the test When my time is through I hope you grant my last request Sing to me With a voice so sweet and clear And I will listen Till my troubles disappear You can always Soothe my worried mind With just a song then I sing along I think about how good my life can be Sing to me We're going to take a little break. Yeah. <laughs> Gilligan, in case you didn't know, before they started using it to portray an idiot on television, <laughs> is a fine Irish name. And uh, I might as well tell you right now, I grew up in New York City. Oh, no. Get a rope. Get a rope. <laughs> I grew up in Queens. And the reason I grew up in Queens is because all of my grandparents got on a boat in Ireland and came over. And when they reached that other island, they said, that's enough. We're staying right here. And I'm not the only one. All the kids I grew up with in grammar school, they had names like Duffy and O'Connor and O'Connell and, and Riley. And uh, so we were on the... <laughs> He's a little older than me, but... Uh... <laughs> So a lot of us had Irish grandparents. So I wrote this song about my grandparents and their grandparents and everybody else's grandparents who built this country and put their stamp on it, on things like our language and, and all of that. And it stars my mother's father who had the 
the best name to use in here. He was from a little village called Bally Ragged. There's no way you can rhyme that, I promise. So uh, I used uh, the village where his wife, my grandmother, came from, Bally Hale. Doesn't that sound lovely? It's called A Piece of Ireland. My name is Jimmy Butler I come from Ballyhale On the 2nd of November For Marika, I say I am only one of many Looking for a better life Never more to see Kilkenny that cuts me like a knife And I shall sail on the wild Atlantic Ocean My tears shall fall and mingle with the sea I will come to build a mighty, mighty nation and I take a piece of Ireland with me Father says there's nothing left here I have to say it's true How can a land so beautiful At the same time be so cruel But there's a lady in the harbor Standing there to welcome me Ah, she's lifting up her lamp now my future I can see And I shall sail on the wild Atlantic Ocean My tears shall fall and mingle with the sea I will come to build a mighty, mighty nation I take a piece of Ireland with me Oh, and I shall sail on the wild Atlantic Ocean And my tears shall fall and mingle with the sea Oh, I will come to build a mighty, mighty nation I take a piece of Ireland with me Oh, I will take a piece of Ireland with me. Thank you. That was my friend Martin. That was for, for Martin. That's one of his favorite songs. And he asked me to put, write the chords down. And uh, I had to point out to Martin that that's, that's Joe's job. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Well, kind of. I grew up in one of those Irish households where every crisis, the response was, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. <laughs> and my mother swears she never said that. I, I, when she said that, oh, I never said that, I thought lightning was going to strike her. <laughs> one of my grandmothers lived right around the corner, and she would call us little Gilligan kids Egypts if we misbehaved. I was a grown man before I figured out she was calling us idiots. <laughs> it just sounds so, oh, yeah, it's an idiot, yeah. <laughs> what shall we do, Joe? Oh. Well, I already confessed that I grew up in Queens, right? So let me see. We've done like a bluegrass song. We've done an Irish song. Let's do, let's do a blues song. Hmm? At least I thought it was a blues song. Till I played it for him, Mr. Music. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he knows theory and everything. Well, he said it can't be, <laughs> it can't be a blues song because it has too many chords. He said two chords for blues, maybe three. 
He said, what you wrote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right. But you were talking about country then. You were talking about jambalaya then. Oh, well. But anyway, uh, he, said, he said, what you wrote, you damn Yankee. You're, you wrote a doo-wop song. And, uh, you know, I kind of had to listen to it. And, yeah, maybe he's right. But Randy Brooks was the arbiter of this. He said, why don't you all just call it Blue Op? <laughs> he's a clever fella. Okay. Let me play it for you. I gotta tell you First it hurt like hell After a million tears You can hardly even tell That I was broken You had to see it for yourself Come back just to finish what you started. Did you think that I should be just a bit more broken hearted? You better go now while I still think I'm over you. Right from the moment I saw you walking through that door I told my heart to settle down Ain't going down that road no more But it ain't easy When you're standing right here in front of me To stop this fire from burning You better go now While I still think I'm over you Play something bluesy, Joe Talking second chances no. Baby, you know that ship is sailing You don't know what to do When it ain't up to you How does it feel to know you fail? Nice Did you come back? Just started. Did you think that I should be just a bit more broken-hearted? You better go now, while I still think I'm over you. Oh, 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 oh yeah. You better go now, while I still think I'm over. See, it's a blues song. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that. I want to do a song that, you know, hopefully y'all will sing along on this. You know, we lost Elvis. We did. It was, yeah, we did. It was a little while back there, Martin. Uh, I don't know where you were. Don't know where you were, but I was in Norfolk, Virginia. I remember it well. We lost Sinatra. Now we've lost Merle Haggard. This is serious business, y'all. I don't care how you feel about country music in general. This guy transcended it totally. 
And so I'd like to do my favorite Merle Haggard song for you. And hopefully you know it. And if you don't know it, you should learn it. <laughs> The warden led a prisoner down the hallway to his doom. I stood up to say goodbye like all the rest. And I heard him tell the warden just before he reached my cell. Let my guitar play and friend do my request. Here's where y'all come in. Let him sing me back home with a song I used to hear. Make my old memories come alive. Take Turn back the years Sing me back home before I die I recall last Sunday morning When a choir from off the streets Came in to sing a few old gospel songs And I heard him tell the singers There's a song my mama sang Won't you sing it once Before you move along Let me sing me back home With a song I used to hear Make my Take me away, turn back the years, sing me back home before I die. Take me away, turn back the years, sing me back home for I die God bless Merle Haggard I got to do a lot of shows with him in the 80s remember Nine Acres remember Nine Acres in Colleyville it was a big old honky tonk and it's the first time we met Merle Haggard and we got hooked up with uh, the whiskey company that he was uh sponsored by uh he was with george dickel and uh y'all remember mason dixon yes, anybody uh -huh. well that was that was us we were like the gatlin brothers light or something <laughs> like that if you don't remember i'll play, let me play you our biggest hit when you're hungry for the real taste of texas and nothing but the best is gonna do come to where the pride is tacked up texas high at Coulter's, Coulter's Barbecue. <laughs> Coulter's, Coulter's Barbecue. <laughs> 18 years they played that on the radio. I'd like to, anybody else uh, see if the, their song was played for 18 years. Where was I? Uh, oh, Merle Haggard, yeah. And that's how we met Merle. And first time we ever met him, sat down at a we're having lunch or something. Our management knew him because they used to be his management back when his career was, you know. That's why they were our manager, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and now they're, they're, they're almost billionaires, those guys. But uh, he sat down and goes, oh, you boy, sure is good looking. I wouldn't mind uh, sharing a prison cell with y'all. <laughs> I couldn't believe he said that, but that's the first time I've ever told that story. Um, yeah, right. Well, I don't know. 
<laughs> Maybe it's not okay. You know? Let's do uh, one of these days. This is a song from our award-winning CD. That's right, you heard me. Award-winning. Buy one and I'll tell you what award it won. <laughs> I'll tell you now. It was my mother's favorite, okay? <laughs> the song is dedicated to Ralph Cramden. Because the name of it is One of These Days. One of these days I'm gonna stop my dreaming It'll be done whenever they all come true All my planning All of my scheming It'll be over whenever I find you One of these days I'm gonna find my treasure It's gonna feel just like my ship's coming I'm gonna love you, love you, love you without measure Still I am waiting, wondering where you've been Pleasure No, you might be out there standing At the end of a bridge that I have burned I ain't guessing, I ain't gambling, no By leaving any stone unturned One of these days I'm gonna wake up Smiling, you're gonna be here lying right next to me. Know you're out there for the finding. It's gonna happen, baby. Just wait and see. Thank you. A friend of mine named Moses Rangel cut that song, and you may hear it on the country airwaves if we get lucky. Or you can dig on my version, whatever you, whatever you feel. So as a songwriter, you write songs as they come along. Wouldn't you say that's true? Uh, so anyway, you, 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 know, you write songs, and every now and then you write a love song, right? And usually there's some motivation for it in some way, shape, or form. Well, what happens if that all evaporates and you still got the song? Well, that's what this is about. And ironically, it's called my favorite song. Used to be my favorite song to sing The very one that helped me win her heart Now I'm afraid what singing it might bring Whenever the music starts And I hope that I can keep it all together 
Make it through a chorus and a verse And I know that it ain't helping me forget her It only makes it worse And I wish somehow that I could just unwrite it Maybe just turn back the hands of time Then I wouldn't have to try and hide it Or fight the urge to cry at every line Hope that you can try and understand it When I tell you I can't sing it anymore not even if her memory demands it It's time to close that door I wish somehow that I could just unwrite it And maybe just turn back the hands of time Then I wouldn't have to try and hide it Or fight the urge to cry at every lie Used to be my favorite song to sing Now it's just the one that breaks my heart And I try but I can't stop remembering Whenever the music starts Let's do, uh, but let's do it a half step lower because we're in Waxahachie. Things don't ever stay the same. Shorted this song in 1993, and Joe, I love Joe when I say we're going to play Things Don't Ever Stay the Same. He has different names for all the songs. He just makes them up or, or he does an acronym or something and has no idea when I say let's do things. You know what song I'm talking about? Yeah, when you hear something a million times, you're like, <laughs> Don't you love having a partner that loves your stuff, you know? Yeah, and this was called Could I. The only lyrics he ever wants to hear is, Take it, Joe! <laughs> okay? <laughs> Thank you for chiming on this bit. You did well. You did perfect. My favorite words are, hey, we got one more for you. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. What did I do here? So I did this as a duet uh, on the Silver Dollar CD with a great singer from uh, the Houston area named uh, Sarah Golden, who uh, was on The Voice. That's right, Team CeeLo, uh, back in season three. But she sings very well, so. Can't you feel a cold wind blowing Bearing down like a hurricane One of us may soon be going Things don't ever stay the same I know it isn't any wonder I become a crying chain I'm coming back now out from under Things don't ever stay the same They say nothing lasts forever And I cause in any pain Sometimes always turns to never Things don't ever stay the same Play it, Joe. I mean, take it, Joe. You love every 
about me But you say we need a change Go ahead, girl Start without me Things don't ever stay the same Why do we always run for cover Every time it starts to rain I go one way You go the other, yeah Things don't ever stay the same in 
love with me All righty that's Merry Christmas. Right Thank you, brother. Song. Appreciate that. I mentioned Randy Brooks, didn't I? Oh, we know Randy real well. We love him. You know, it's one of those guys. In fact, I added Randy on Facebook thinking that he was the Randy Brooks from the Brooks Brothers band back in, they were in Dallas back in the 80s, and uh, he was not. <laughs> he was a different Randy Brooks. And that's how we became friends. And he came out, uh, I played at the Rustic, he came out, and we, and uh, just one of those things, uh, you, you meet somebody, you just hit it off with them. And we wrote this next song. I, uh, I said, Randy, I'm stuck, can you help me? He said, as long as you're not worried about being associated with me. <laughs> I mean, the guy's got a Grammy, but it's for Grandma Got Run Over for, by a Reindeer. So you either love that song or hate it. I happen to love it because I love Randy Brooks. He's a great guy and very clever. And did you know his uncle is Foster Brooks? Oh, yeah. That's his uncle. And uh, if you don't remember Foster Brooks, he did a great drunk act. And he, he was on all of the Dean Martin roasts and everything. And he was brilliant. And perhaps a little bit of, bit of it rubbed off on Randy and his brother and all the rest of the family. Well, there, here's a song about Texas, where Joe grew up. I'm going to do this song in your honor, Joe. Hey. <laughs> He's an excitable character, isn't he? She was running from a heartbreak back in Tulsa. She and Oklahoma, they were done Somebody told her Austin Was a great place to get lost in me Even find a little fun She said, so long Oklahoma Look out Texas, here I come Wondered as she crossed that old Red River Why them Oki boys were just like kryptonite The only thing for certain to get rid of all the hurting Was to find a Texas Superman and treat her right You know, like Randy or somebody As if anything can happen once Oklahoma's out of sight you know that's right Weather reinvention's getting nearer Durant's in the rearview mirror Everything to win, nothing left to lose She's heading in the right direction Won't be long till she's a Texan Singing all the words to London homesick I told Gary P. Nunn that I put London Homesick Blues in this song. He goes, okay. He's excitable, too. We stopped to pull the top down outside of Waco. Then she merged back on the Highway 35. She put pedal to the metal. Not to shame the devil She said, Lord, ain't it great to be alive At that Austin city limits She said, look out, Texas, I've arrived Yeah, she's arrived Look out, Texas Noticed, oh, you don't have it on here, but Joe had his little Kerrville button on. 
Wait, before you start this, let me tell the story. We got to, uh, last year we went to, to Kerrville and we got to open for David Crosby. Now, not just me and Joe, but there were like six acts, you know, all the, all the Kerrville winners from the year before. So, uh, you know, nobody could talk to him. But I found myself walking out of the, what they call the green room, and uh, there he is coming, walking right by me. He goes, you're going to sound check, huh? I said, yep, sure am. Hey, Dave, I'd like to talk, but uh, really, i got to go to sound check, okay? <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah. I, just, I just said, yep, see you later. Maybe we'll, or something, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he can't do that anymore, can he? Anyway, I uh, did this song the, the year before, the year before at uh, Kerrville, my first experience with Kerrville, and thank God uh, we had some great judges because they, they liked it a lot, and I became a Kerrville winner. But it's a story that I saw on Facebook, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, and maybe you've clicked on it. There was an old gentleman that was at a clinic getting stitches taken out of his hand, and uh, he kept looking at his watch, and the nurse said, Sir... Do you have another appointment, a uh, doctor's appointment? And he said, no, I've got to go have lunch with my wife. It's Wednesday. We have lunch every Wednesday. And found out she's at the local nursing home, and she'd been there five years. She had Alzheimer's and did not remember who he was. So the nurse was puzzled. You know, if she has Alzheimer's, doesn't remember who you are, can't you take this day for yourself and get, you know, take care of your health? He said, listen, honey, I remember who she is. Good enough for me. I came in this morning She was sitting there with a smile on her face She couldn't tell me where she was But I imagined it to be a better place place where she is sleeping beauty and I'm the one who wakes her with a kiss even though she can't remember who I am I remember who she is she's still the one I come looking for to remind me why this life is so worth living She's amazed me with her grace And she's given me a lesson in forgiving Long ago we made a promise And I know that it's the least that I can She can't remember who I am I remember who she is And now we find each other Starting on another journey That neither one of us Prepared to take Through it all I never thought The lesson I'd be learning how long it takes to watch your own heart break One day into the next It's the only way to try and move along Still never knowing what the future holds Certain I am right where I belong And I know the days are growing short For time is something no one can resist It didn't turn out just the way we planned The hourglass is running out of sand Even though she can't remember who I am I remember
Thank you. Mason Dixon broke up in 1993, and I didn't really uh, get back into playing music again until 2013. Well, in the interim, we both ran multinational corporations, and we're sitting on a pile of money. Not. <laughs> this song is about taking that you know long break from, in this in my case from uh, music, but um, you know this could be a long break from anything. Make it apply to you, okay? This is called Till I Ain't... Well, it, it, actually, it should be called I'm Gonna Do It Right Till I Ain't Got Nothing Left. Raise a glass to second chances so much better than the first I don't remember all the dances But the ones I do are well rehearsed I never thought I'd have another Way to make the fire burn Never thought that I'd discover A way to take another turn And I'm gonna love deeper Even when my heart My voice is shaking I'm gonna give it all With all that I've been blessed I'm gonna do it right Till I ain't got nothing Feels like it's the seventh inning The game is more than halfway gone But for me it's just beginning I've been sitting on the bench too long I might be an overreacher Setting sights a bit too far I'll be swinging for the bleachers Cause that's where all my buddies are in Even when my heart is breaking, I'm gonna speak truth. Even when my voice is shaking, I'm gonna give it all with all that I've been blessed. I'm gonna do it right till I ain't got nothing left. Well, I thought I Didn't think that it could find me anymore I saw the window closing So I opened up a door And I figured out a way To make it better than before And I'm gonna love deeper Even when my heart is breaking I'm gonna speak truth Even when my voice is shaking I'm gonna give it all With all that I've been blessed I'm gonna do it right Till I ain't got nothing left Even when my heart is breaking My voice is shaking I'm gonna give it all With all that I've been blessed I'm gonna do it right Till I ain't got nothing Thank you. 
Story of my life. My daughter turned 30 years old last year. I know you're thinking, how could he possibly have a 30-year-old daughter, right? Well, some big old boy named John decided he was going to propose marriage to my little girl in front of 40,000 Astros fans. Wow. I know you're thinking, how could there possibly be 40,000 Astros fans, right? <laughs> well, there were. Well, maybe there are some Rockies fans in there, too, but uh, John did good. His fifth inning comes around, and everybody's doing the kiss cam, and finally get to them. They're sitting right behind home plate. John gets down on one knee, and Jamie stands up. Her jaw drops to the floor, and it's all caught on the scoreboard in right field. There's a YouTube video of it, uh, but... Uh, not to be outdone in the romance department. I captured the moment in song a couple of days later. And I'll tell you what happened at the end, okay? I am a simple man I Don't let my feelings show but when it comes to you I want the world to know Just how you changed my life You gave me a love so strong Jamie, will you marry me, love John? I've known it all along It comes as no surprise I see forever now When I look in your eyes I give you a heart that's true That you can depend upon what happened the Astros won <laughs> of course she said yes <laughs> while I'm here let's do that good old song till it don't hurt anymore to which Joe replied huh uh -huh. <laughs> what song is that it's the last song on the CD <laughs> Gonna walk away now if I wanna survive But if I'm going crazy 
shine by an Israel drive Any direction with the pedal pushed down to the floor Hundreds of miles between me and this town Might not be far enough when the heartache goes down Gonna keep moving till it don't hurt anymore I'm gonna find me a place for beginning again where nobody knows what a fool I have been I know I deserve it I sure did my part Oh, but that doesn't mean It ain't breaking my heart I have been here before But it feels like this time I am running away From the scene of a crime Gonna keep moving Till it don't hurt anymore Okay, now if I said let's play uh, "Letting Me Go," would you say? Uh, <laughs> would you say let me think about it? No. I had a friend, uh, Jack Berry. He had a granddaughter that went on to the Voice uh, from the Houston area. Her name was Savannah Berry. I mean, if you've so anyway, well, uh, Savannah was eventually um, voted off of the Voice, and uh, for some reason, the next morning, I had just got this idea in my head. And not that it has anything to do with her being um, voted off the voice, but this it's kind of... Anyway, this song is called Letting Me Go. Take your time. Don't be sad We both know it's just as well even through tears I can tell It's time to be moving along You believed in me That's what will see me through That's what I'll hold on to Whenever I need to be strong It's a big world you always knew that I could take it You never doubted I could make it on my own So I thank you for 
helping me find myself I don't know if anyone else could love me by letting me go Oh, 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 oh. It's okay There'll be no bridges burned I'll take the lessons I've learned And carry them close to my heart Time is the one thing That always has its way Never letting us stay The way that we were at the start it's a big world But you always knew that I could take it You never doubted I could make it on my own So I thank you For helping me find myself I don't know if anyone else could love me by letting me go Places yet unknown Where no one understands me like you do The price we pay For every yesterday That leads us to this moment of truth So I thank you Helping me find myself I don't know if anyone else Could love me by letting me go Don't know if anyone else Could love me by letting me go Oh I didn't mention I had a I I had a co-writer on that song uh, Andy Renfrey from Two Bit Palomino, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know we were roommates. Me and Ren and Andy were roommates probably the time they played here. And uh, well, she just whipped out the second half of those lyrics like nothing. It kind of pissed me off, really, you know. <laughs> so I've been sitting on that song for six months and. Uh, Hey, Andy, you got any ideas? Boom. Done. It was like, yeah. So she, she did really well. <laughs> you know, the one with the thing and the chords and the... Did you clue what you guys were thinking? <laughs> no, the one with the guitar and the thing on the, on the, on the fourth and the, the, you know, the thing. That song. I <laughs> <laughs> Give me a bouncy C. No. <laughs> this is the title tune of our CD that we're very proud of. <laughs> it's the song with the thing and the guy and the gun. Remember the with the coin. Okay. So uh, a friend of mine, Jack Berry, uh, who had the granddaughter that, uh, by the way, I'm it. sorry, man. I just, I got it. I got it. just, just nervous energy. It's, thing. it's a thing with the mic, with the thing. So, Jack had a silver dollar from 1890s, and he pulled it out and showed it to a bunch of us. And he said, can you imagine how many people have spent this coin since it was first minted? It really, because it was worn smooth, but you could still read in God we trust. And he flipped it over, said, look at here across the top, E Pluribus Unum. Still read it plain as day. He said, that's Latin for from the many, one. But he translated it into Texan. He said, it means we all in this together. <laughs> it was an old, worn, and faded 1890 silver dollar. When he handed it to me, he said, I hope you treat it well. 
bet if it could talk about the places that it's been to you would be amazed at all the stories it could tell how it started out in a saddlebag of a cowboy in Montana one summer mending fences it became his first day's pay he spent it on a new shirt to impress a rancher's daughter How many other young hearts Did it help along the way It was hidden in the pocket Of a young Kentucky soldier Who carried it for luck In the war to end all wars When the fight was over He gave it to another Needed a little something And a little something more In a hundred years it's been handled By a million saints and sinners But a God we trust can still be read Even after all this time And across the top it says That we are all in this together We are one though we are many that's how we all survive Was it wasted on a broken dream or another glass of whiskey? Was it taken by a stranger at the wrong end of a gun? Was it in the offering? church on Sunday morning to remind us what he gave us when he gave his only son it might help if we could see ourselves as shiny silver dollars as we travel through this world are we blessing or curse most of us are worn and a little rough around the edges shouldn't be so hard to see what we all are worth. In a hundred years it's been handled by a million saints and sinners, but a God we trust can still be read even after all this time. And across the top it says that we are all in this together. We are one though we are many. That's how we all survive We are one though we are many That's how we all survive Thank you! I'm going to throw Joe a curve, pardon the pun. You'll see why, because it's a song about baseball. Tell you the story, okay? My brother Jim is a college baseball coach. Have you ever heard of Lamar University? Yes, yes ma'am. Well, he's only been there 40 years. He's still feeling his way around, but he's going to retire this year. It's been quite an accomplished career. Uh, he's in the Texas Baseball Hall of Fame for being the number six winningest NCAA Division I coach at Little Lamar University. And he, he left coaching at Lamar for five years in the 80s and got on with a uh, minor league team in Salt Lake. And in 1987, they had 29 consecutive wins, which is the longest winning streak in professional baseball. He broke a 72-year-old record uh, that was set by the Corsicana Oilers. <laughs> And so that's Cooperstown stuff, too. Yeah, and he went in, into the Texas Baseball Hall of Fame with, uh, oh, who are those guys? Bagwell and Biggio. Remember them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Killer bees. Yep. So on his 15th birthday, he was in the right field bleachers at Yankee Stadium. It was October 1st, 1961. Now, the date is important because that's the day that Roger Maris broke Babe Ruth's home run record. And the ball landed 15 feet from him. 
pandemonium. Not a bad 15th birthday, huh? And maybe that's how he got into uh, baseball in the first place. Yankee Stadium is gone now. There's a new thing that they call Yankee Stadium, but it's, you know, it's George Steinbrenner's dream or whatever. So he's a little mad about that. He's never set foot into the, uh, the new Yankee Stadium. So that's what this song encompasses, plus a, a look back on a great career. It's called October 1961. October 1961 Sitting in the right field bleachers What a perfect way to start My 15th trip around the sun I thought wouldn't it be great The icing on the cake if Roger Maris Went ahead and hit that 61st home run all of my heroes played on that field of dreams But they've gone and torn that great cathedral down It'll never be quite like it was before The house that Ruth built, it ain't standing anymore Close my eyes, I'm back there with the boys of summer When all I ever wanted was a chance to play the game Yeah, we all wish we could go back to the days when we were younger But time keeps marching on Everything must change Guess you could say I'm round and third With my memories right behind me Oh, I've seen a thing or two And the stories I could tell Some you lose, some you win And then it all begins again It'll lift you up or break your heart Don't I know it well all of my heroes played on that field of dreams Yeah, they've gone and torn that great cathedral down They may have built it much better than it was before But you know, the house that Ruth built, it ain't standing anymore October 1961 Sitting in the right field bleachers It was a perfect way to start My 15th trip around the sun Thank you. Let's do that thing with the guitar and the thing and the... You know... Oh, he did that. The little get the Gary Morris uh, thing uh, with the guitar and the moi, are you okay? Fabulous song. <laughs> fabulous. Okay, that one. Let's do the fabulous song. All right. Well, this is going to be the the last song because um, it's a it's a good last song. You know Gary Morris, right? Yeah. Fort Worth boy, written North Richland Hill, wherever he's from. He's from Hell around here, voice. huh? Hell yeah, he's all right. <laughs> he's a good friend of mine. He really is. And uh, I get to see him once a year. Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, this is Gary Morris's idea for my career is this. He said, you need, to, uh, you need to wear a crown on your head, big old crown, and have a velvet cape and walk out on stage and call yourself King Frank. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. And he was dead serious. I said, do I have to jump off off a turnbuckle or something? You know, no, no, just do just do that. He's a strange boy. What can I say? <laughs> so, uh, uh, you know, when at the height of his country music career, he he went to Broadway, and he starred in the Pirates of Penzance, and then he starred as Jean Valjean on Broadway in uh, Les Miserables. 
as we as we say it here, Texas. And I, um, I threatened every year I'd see him. I said, I'm going to learn that song. He goes, Go ahead. I do it a step lower than uh, he did it when he was on Broadway, but so does he. God on high, hear my prayer in my need. You have always been there. He is your. Let him rest, heaven blessed, bring him home, bring him home, bring him home, he's like the sun I might have known. If God had granted me a son, the summers die one by one. How soon they fly on and on. I am old and will be gone. Bring him peace. God bless y'all. Thank you so much. This was great. Joe Gavito. Thank you.